Imagine a predator so powerful it ruled North America for over 10,000 years. A beast larger, stronger, and more ferocious than the modern wolf. And now it's back. Not through cloning, but through a revolutionary process of genetic engineering. Three dire wolves, Romulus, Remus, and Khaleesi, are living proof of a scientific breakthrough so extraordinary, it's rewriting the rules of life itself. But here's the question. Have we truly resurrected the dire wolf, or have we created something new? Colossal Biosciences, a company pioneering the field of de-extinction, has done what many believe to be impossible. Using DNA extracted from two ancient specimens, a 13,000-year-old tooth from Ohio and a 72,000-year-old skull from Idaho, scientists reconstructed the dire wolf's genome. This was not mere cloning. Instead, they utilized advanced gene editing technologies, notably CRISPR, to rewrite sections of modern wolf DNA. Their goal? To recreate the physical and behavioral traits of the dire wolf. Through this process, they identified and modified 14 crucial genes that define the dire wolf's unique attributes. These genes were carefully spliced into gray wolf embryos, which were then carried to term by domestic dog surrogates. The result? Three healthy pups who carry the legacy of a creature long thought extinct. Romulus and Ramus, now six months old, and their younger sister Khaleesi, at two months old. Their robust builds, powerful jaws, and behavioral instincts are all testaments to a scientific achievement like no other. But why bring back the dire wolf? According to Colossal Biosciences, this endeavor is about more than resurrecting a single species. They believe de-extinction could restore lost ecosystems, enhance biodiversity, and help endangered species adapt to modern threats. Their goal extends to other creatures as well, including woolly mammoths, dodos, and Tasmanian tigers. By studying and reviving these species, scientists hope to find new ways to combat habitat loss, invasive species, and even climate change. But with such ambition comes profound ethical questions. These animals are not wild. They were born in a lab, raised in controlled environments. They may resemble their ancestors, but their world is no longer the same. Colossal's creations will live their entire lives under human observation, protected, yet confined. This leads to a larger question. Are we truly bringing these creatures back, or simply creating something new in their image? The potential to revive extinct species is remarkable, but it also carries great responsibility. We now possess the power to rewrite nature's code, to bring back what we have lost, the question is not just whether we can, but whether we should. What do you think? Is de-extinction the future of conservation or a step too far? Share your thoughts below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.